Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Train Mechanic Simulator Let's Play Series Playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Now that the game is about to release, I am going to start to... Uh, yeah, to show you guys uh, the campaign if you want to buy it yourself. Don't watch the video, don't play the game, or <laughs> if you, yeah, if, if you don't care either way, then watch the video by all means. And thank you everybody for the feedback that you gave me, um, especially those of you that are actually uh, train mechanics and uh, that could give me a little bit of feedback, especially on the brake system, although I have to admit that this one I noticed myself that there is a hydraulic brake system where it should be a pneumatic brake system although I got feedback that this is supposed to be a pneumatic system but uh, yeah I don't know what happened well, I guess we'll have to see what happens with the day one patch but without further um, yeah further ado let's see where we are last time uh, we towed the train back to our uh, yard here and now just as we expected the problem proved to be damaged transmission in the truck remove and replace them the task income is 250 dollars the estimated cost of the whole order is 87,400 dollars so yeah shall we shall we so here's the motor truck and it looks like I can see already just by the very condition of this. That we can't tell the condition. Oh yeah, speaking of that music though. nice if that was would be saved but unfortunately it ain't so just as i expected this is green this is green this is not going to be green this is going to be any color but green okay so we have one drive gear anything else i oh, might as well look no it doesn't look like it it is just Apparently it's just, just quote unquote the drive gear because the brake calipers and everything else seem to be green. Yes, yes. Okay, well it's fair enough. I mean, I'll, we have to take those out. This is another motor truck. How is this one looking? This one is looking good. Okay, so we just have to take those two parts out. Just of course being here the the word that I'm not so sure about um, yeah I'm not sure where we're gonna start here really I guess we have to start on the outside take the whole works apart Hydraulic brake piston. There should be no piston at all. Take that out. Now we take this out. I assume. I don't know. I might be taking here stuff out that we don't need at all. But the only way to find out is, well, taking it apart. Okay. Yeah, so I think it is fair to say that we do indeed need to take the whole works out. You yeah, see, this all shouldn't should not be um, hydraulic. This should be all air or pneumatic. Still not, eh? What now? Wow. It is quite involved, I have to say, to get all this stuff apart. And especially on this one, you know, with car mechanic simulator, I know for the most part what needs to be done. On this one here, I 
honest to goodness have no idea. I don't think that would have been that would have been needed to remove. This one definitely has to go though. Nope. Ah, we got it. Well, that goes a little bit far here. Wow, this is quite this is quite the operation to get this stuff out. Now clearly, as you see here, um, the parts that you can't get out have this flashing kind of red and then parts that you will get out. So I'm going to try to leave those in. Clearly those have to go out, but maybe the springs are not necessary. I'm going to see if this actually builds up on logic so that certain parts you do not have to take out. Other parts, of course, you will have to take out. But as I said before, I'm not a hundred percent certain. Oh, well, see, and this is how easy it goes. Okay, um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead here and see if we can... If we can uh, repair this. I don't think we can. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we should have another one. Yeah, 5% chance of success. We might as well. Oh, wow, look at this. 5% chance and we did it. So we only have to buy one now, which very nicely puts all this in half. Mechanical parts. And what are we looking for again? Electric motor cover, drive gear, add to cart. Order. Yes. Thank you. Okay, now we can put the whole works together and it was way easier than I expected. But as I said, I had no idea really. So now we're going to switch into our installation mode and installation is a lot easier than uh, disassembly if I would have known that earlier I could have saved a lot of time for us. But hey, that's the fun about playing those games. About, uh, yeah, it's, it's a learning process is what it is. Um, this one, the brake caliper has to go in. Yeah, see, we could have left those. But as I said before, who knows that? And we even could have left the whole other side in one piece, but oh well. You live, you learn. And this game, of course, I mean, yes, it says simulator, but for those of you that got really bent out of shape that you call this a simulator and whatnot. Um, of course it's not a real simulator in the in the truest sense of the word. It is something that's supposed to bring you a little bit of, of uh, entertainment for a few hours or even a few minutes a day or a week or however often you want to play it. So is it a simulator? No, absolutely not. Of course not. But regardless, it's a fun game. It is indeed a fun game. And we're gonna do, of course, after this uh, repair, 
I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, is that it? If this is it, please let me know. So, I really took way too much stuff out. The only thing that I should have really taken out was the brake caliper. On both sides. Not even the engine mounting. But hey, you live, you learn, right? And that, if I am not completely mistaken, is a one job well done. Job order finish. Bye bye train. Okay. And we have another $500, so we can indeed upgrade our. No. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Oh, yeah, of course. Tablet. Engine fuel improve workshop. 1580. We have almost 1500 for a screw gun because this is really what I want. Um, yeah, the screw gun is what I want next. But without further ado, let's just go ahead here and get the next work order in. A main railway station in Fulham is that a locomotive pull on passenger cars has not arrived in time. Check what happened. Okay. So I'm thinking we have to take our train again. Find the derail, derail train near the coast, square E4. Four. C. B, C, D, E. So E, 4. So it is here. All switches except the diesel depot are... St okay, diesel depot just switched as well. So we are go. And just for those of you that say, oh, those uh, the, the, the radius of those curves is absolutely unrealistic. Yes, yes, it is, because this is not Train Simulator. <laughs> oh, boy. boy yeah about that I'm 
Okay, we found the train. What are we going to do now? Ah. Press X to start the crane mode. Oh, yeah. Boom, rotate. Okay, this is boom in, boom out. This is line. Q and E is height. Oh, yeah, baby. So this just became a lot more interesting. Here we go. I mean, all things considered. This is... Not too bad. Oh boy. Well, we got her on the on her feet again. Oh wow, bouncy ropes. Very cute. So now we have to boom out because we have to rotate the whole thing back on the tracks and then I am fairly certain I'm confident that we have to put the train. Oh boy. Okay, boom out and lower because we don't want the. Um, we don't want the load to dangle too high. All right, there she be. And we got her. So we are towing now, of course, the train back to the station. Now I am kind of curious where the rest of the train is because we got told it's a passenger train well, I don't see any passenger cars. But, oh well. I have to say this is a nice surprise though. This is a really nice surprise that we can use the crane. And that the crane is not... I, I totally thought that the crane is really just... Yeah, show. And uh, we can't use it at all. But uh, yeah, little did you did I know. Little did I know. Very little. It looks like most of the. Yeah, most of the of the switches are already set for us. And all things considered, those are rather 
interesting as well as detailed. Watch your speed. Yeah. There we go. And yes, those angles are completely unrealistic for a train. You would not make that. There is no way. But, as I said, this is more for entertainment purposes than to teach you how a real train works. We are back in the depot. So, damage wiggle has been restored properly and towed into a workshop. Okay. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six parts that we have to repair. And we're going to do that quickly. It appears that the problem is the damaged engine mountings in both trucks. So, apparently, there's six of those engine mountings, engine mounting. Okay, here. And this time, I'm a little bit smarter because I'm just going to take out what I absolutely need to take out, which is those four engine mountings. And that keeps it nice and short and helps us also with the time of this video. Having said that, guys, though, if you want to, by all means, leave me a comment. Why can't I get this engine mounting out? What's going on here? Huh? Ah, that's why. At the back it's a little bit more sophisticated. The screw gun would really, really help here. And I really do hope that this time, once we have a screw gun, we will actually be able to hear the screw gun as well. Or screw gun, I don't know why they call that thing screw gun, but... It is, of course, a pneumatic air wrench. Pneumatic air wrench. A pneumatic wrench, not a pneumatic air wrench, because that's kind of an air wrench air wrench. That is done. One more engine mounting up here. And since it's six parts, I am fairly sure that it is the complete part. Uh, 
There we go. Look at our... Oh, we have all kinds of stuff on here. What? Um, it's mechanical. Oh, we have... We have a fairly good chance of repairing that stuff. Okay. It's almost a 50-50 chance. So the only thing that we couldn't repair is one of the engine mountings, so we have to buy this one new, which is not a big deal, I think. Gonna order this, yes, thank you. And then we're gonna put the whole... Ooh, engine. I can't wait to do the first engine. It's gonna be good fun. It's gonna be good fun. That was one. So repairing parts is really imperative, m much more so than it was in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Because the stakes are a little bit higher, I guess. Come on. Here we go. And now the front one. And our engine mountings here. And last but not least, And with that work order is completed, we are below cost. So, oh, we got a bonus. We got a thousand dollar bonus for being below cost. The train is not complete. Mount the missing parts. What am I missing? Oh, one set of mounting brackets. Wonderful. So with that, the train is complete. Finish the order. Bye-bye, baby. 
So, income 500, bonus 500, bonus for low cost. So, we got $2,000, which means we can indeed upgrade a little bit here on our workbench as well as... Okay, we can definitely improve this. And we can improve... Oh, man, we can improve the mechanics workbench. And we can improve the electrical. Wonderful. So now that we have this, I am going to give you a glimpse what we have next episode coming. And it is 5, 6 or 7. And uh, this is where I'm asking you guys, do you want job order number 5, job order number 6 or job order number 7? Read them, pause the video here. After that, you will be directed in the description, not in the description, but in the card. Um, that will ask you 5, 6 or 7. You decide. And next time when we are back, I will do the job order that you chose. So it is up to you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, again. Mr. Northern Alex here, signing off. Wishing you a great day and God bless.